The wall is set up a little bit differently. They're starting with pre-built walls. They have their starter course. They're about to go live. This event will consist of um, a time frame that's just a little bit different than our regular bricklayer event. This event will consist of a 20 minute period where these students and these apprentices will go in, they'll lay the brick, They'll do it as quickly as they can. Uh, you're not going to be seeing a 600 brick count as you would in one of our normal brick layers, but uh, we're hoping for anything from, gosh, 160, 150. Uh, you can tell we've got our guys here checking, making sure all of our competitors are ready to go. We have 21 teams competing, which is incredible. Here we go, folks. We're about to get this thing kicked Five, off. Four, three, two, one. And they're off. And we will walk around throughout this event. I'll be here with you live for our junior bricklayer. We're glad that you tuned in with us, folks. As you can see, no difference than our normal bricklayer. But these guys, again, first year, second year apprentices and high schoolers. We'll walk around, talk about these folks. As you can see, the walls are a little bit shorter, eight foot consistency across versus what we do in a, in a sense of 30 feet. Marvin here with D-Bound Construction, excited. Says he's gonna do the best he can. Done a little practicing, giving us the thumbs up. We appreciate that. We'll do our very best to leave these guys alone as they are as nervous as you can get. I'm telling you, everybody that I've talked to prior to this event, excited, glad to be here. But the key word I heard all morning is I'm nervous. And you know what, that's okay. But these guys are here to get recognition. Of course we have first second and third place in each category meaning we have high schooler category first second third first year apprentice first second and third and of course our three-year apprentice programs these guys are glad to be here some of them get out of school some of them get out of work am i right there Got Mandarian here with DMG. Not sure if Grandma is watching, but I know he wanted to make sure that he he did her proud. Starting off with a nice looking wall there, Mandarian. I'm I'm gonna look for a winner out of you. No pressure though, okay? <laughs> we got Henry here, Skinner Masonry, doing everything he can to. Keep his wall looking right, looking level, looking clean. And I will say he's doing a nice job at that. Again, this is gonna consist of a 20 minute period of laying all the brick that they can do. We'll come back and we'll do a uh, 10 minute little break for these guys. And then they'll get the chance to come in, tool, clean their wall. And then our judges will begin the brick count as well as uh, checking for plumb, checking their bed joints. Checking chip brick. They're just doing the same thing that we would do in our major brick layer. One thing that you will notice in this is that uh, uh, no individual mason has an individual tender. We have our mudslingers helping these guys out. They are allowed to work from both sides of the wall. A little bit different there. No different in a sense of what we look for in our brick. Got Marvin here with Skinner Masonry, knocking it out. Looks good, Marvin, looks good. One of our local Masons here, Artisan, Felipe. And again, the ages for these folks range from everything from a junior in high school all the way up to about 37 years old. And uh, again, these are guys that are new to being on the wall one and two year folks and of course we got our high schoolers here that are uh, here with their instructors they're being taught they know what they're doing teachers here doing whatever he can do to encourage them to do the right thing as you can see here we got we got our teachers doing everything he can for his students take a quick little minute here to talk about Ulysses. 
He's a senior in our Grand Prairie School program. He is knocking it out. He is uh, no stranger to doing competitions. He's wowed the folks in our state program, won first place in our junior bricklayers uh, in the state. So we're looking, we're looking uh, for big things out of him. You can see we got his, his actual teacher in the background with Grand Prairie School District, Bud, Bud Johnson here. Doing more than pushing a pencil today, Bud. Yes, sir. Nice work, nice work. All right, Marvin, we're looking for, we're looking for this now. He's doing the best he can. Interesting fact we got right here. Special note here. Our only female competitor, Julia. She's got a big crowd. Folks are cheering her on, looking for br bright and big things out of her. She tells me she's going to win this thing today. Folks are excited to be here again. We are uh, practicing our social distancing, as you can see, with folks wearing masks. No different than our main bricklayer that we do on the regular basis, but this is our junior bricklayer. Again, folks, if you're just tuning in, my name's James Boozing. We are here in Dallas, Texas, at Best Block, conducting our junior bricklayers, which consist of high schoolers, first year apprentice, second year apprentice, and uh, we are looking for big results because these guys, these guys are the future. These guys are the ones that'll be competing for the Ford pickup truck in a matter of just a few years. As you can see, techniques range from the same things that you see on our bricklayer event. Mr. Martinez here with D. Brown, doing his boss man a good, good favor by being here. Happy to be here, wanted to make sure he gave a shout out. We got Omar here with ROC Construction. Laying his first course, about to be done with his first course, looking nice. Again, we got Felipe here with Martinson. We're gonna get down here and take a look at his wall, check out some of his little techniques he's got going on here. Nice job there, Felipe. Keep going. Again, they have 20 minutes to conduct and do the best that they can to have a plumb wall, bed joints, head joints, all within guidelines for our contest here. Got Ricardo here. With D. Brown, we're gonna sit here and watch him lay a few brick. And again, folks, these guys are apprentice. We are expecting perfection, but hoping for the best. Again, that word apprentice, because they are learning. They have folks that they follow each and every day. We'll watch him set his mortar down. Watch him here and just look at the little techniques he's got. As you can see, these guys use the same blocks. They string these things out to keep their brick lines right in there. Come over here and watch the man do his job. Get back over here where we were. Again, these guys have 20 minutes to come in here and lay as much brick as they can. And again, Felipe here. I'm sorry, we got Ricardo. I'm sorry, Ricardo with D. Brown. Local Mason and supporter of Spec Mix. Doing his boss man proud. Of 
We'll move over here to Andrew with GGNS Construction. Watch him as he spreads his mud. Nice job, sir. We're gonna take another little look at Felipe's wall here again with Artisan Masonry, one of our local masons here in Dallas Fort Worth Market. Okay, five minutes left. Competition's almost over. Just kidding. It's ten minutes. Ten minutes, guys. We got twenty minutes left. Twenty minutes left. Again, you see his technique, great. making sure his bed joints are set and right, down. he's coming in there making sure all of his mud's where it needs to be. And let me remind you guys, these are one and two year apprentice, doing the very best that they can do to continue their masonry career. Yep. Take a walk over here and look at Marvin here with Skinner Masonry. We'll do, do a little observation here. Nice looking wall, Marvin. It's all right, Marvin. You feel free to have, have a shout out to the mom, the brother. That's what it's all about. I'm sure you got a fan. Great turnout here, great weather. Moving his string lines. Getting ready to lay his next course of brick, as you can see. And again, folks, keep in mind, we are judging these guys on their joints. Hey, of course, which is their out. thickness from their bed joint going to going their head going. joint. We're looking for brick count. We're looking for plumb. And of course, we'll be looking for their height. K and E and D Brown uh, not only have some competitors, but uh, also they help set up these, these walls. So we really appreciate that. Take a Lewis here with ROC Construction, laying his course also, of bricks. You can see, scraping his mud, keeping it clean, saving as much as he can. Hoping for big things here. Walk over here and take a look at our high schoolers. Let's see how these folks are doing. We got Caesar here with Skinner Masonry. 27 year old. Doing a nice job. One of our one year apprentices. They always come through with these levels. Hard. Looking good, Caesar. Looking good. Uh, of course, board you can see he's got a nice clean wall, the, uh, keeping the, uh, his lines nice and tight, keeping his joints looking really uh, nice. Uh, and again, guys, keep in mind, one year apprentice. What long ago these guys were hauling mud in a bucket up to the top of the scaffold? Am I right? Really appreciate all these national sponsors, all our regional guys. All our Mason sponsors, and uh, again, just you know, take note of those folks when you're out there looking and buying your products and supplying your products. Look who's we'll take a quick uh, shout industry, out here to Bryson and also the youth trying to get the youth into this industry. So just want to mention that and, and uh, good luck to these competitors. Bryson took second place last year in the Junior Bricklayer Fort Worth. Looking for good things out of this young man. Mom would be proud. And of course we can't have a competition without rules folks and I'm gonna scoot on over here and visit up with our man Robert Gleason, our MC and kinda just kind of go over a few of the rules that we have for our junior bricklayer here real quick. Well, thanks James, I appreciate it. 
As these other events, I'm Robert Gleason from Houston, and uh, we have rules. We have a lot less rules for this junior competitorship. We've got probably 12, 15 rules typically, but if we look down here on the wall, what we're going to be measuring today is we're going to be measuring the height, the plumb, and the levelness of the wall. And we're going to be doing, if we go over here to the wall over here, we're going to be doing bed joints and head joints. So the bed joint is the horizontal, the head joint is the vertical. We're going to have, we have a limit. So the head joint can only be one eighth to three quarters, and the bed joint can be one quarter to five eighths. And if it's outside of that, then there's going to be a, there's going to be a deduction of five brick. Typically, it's 25 bricks, a different 50 brick, different deductions. But because it's a junior brick layer, it's five brick per. It's also five brick for out of plumb and five brick for out of height. Again, Bryson, nice clean wall, doing what he can do to maintain that competitive edge on his fellow high school friends. And again, these here, you're looking at our high school competition. These are seniors and juniors locally here, Grand Prairie High School, led by, of course, yours truly, Bud Johnson. Get over here, take a peek at our walls that we've got going on. Nice, clean walls you can see by these folks. I'm gonna do my best to stay out of their way. Every brick counts, of course. And again, these students and apprentices are welcome to work from both sides of the wall, unlike our main bricklayer. You can see these guys are doing what they got to do, keeping that uh, mask on for our social distancing. All right, we're just about a minute past halfway there. Just about a minute past halfway there. Wow, halfway there, there, there and you can see these students are really kicking left. it out. 14 minutes. Again, guys, these are folks looking to earn a career laying brick, being a mason. This is the future of Spec Mix. Get around where the action's going on. Let me just take a brief moment here and watch our young high school competitor knock it out. Nice clean walls. He knows he gets to come back, clean his joints up, and brush them. It's looking really nice. Come on over here to Julia again. First time competition. She's a junior, junior in high school. And our only female competitor. It's nice to have you here, Julia. Jason Hughes here. Been doing this for about three years in the sense of working as a mason. Of course, just recently promoted a few months ago to an apprentice. And uh, he is looking forward to having the boss man throw him a little more promotion when he gets out here and wins this thing, am I right? Yes, sir. Good clean joints. As you can see, taking advantage of using all the mud as he can without throwing it on the ground. Nice job. And again, these folks are given 20 minutes to complete this wall. Again, we're looking for plumb. We're looking for those, those joints, height. And of course, once these guys get this thing all nice and tooled and clean, we'll be looking at it and judging that as well. Not his first rodeo, but in a sense, this is his first rodeo. Good luck, Jason. Thanks. We'll come back and visit with you here in a few minutes. 
So you can see we've got a nice crowd here at our junior bricklayer. It's nice to see folks coming out and supporting the young people and our apprentices in this industry. We got Juan here with Artisan Masonry. How you doing, Juan? You doing all right? You not nervous? And of course, Artisan Masonry, one of our local masons, sponsors, here with us at almost every event that we do. And we'll throw a big shout out to old Artisan there. Let's ease in here and take a peek. Some of our one-year apprentices. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, we got Taking care left. of these joints there. We'll let you know when there's five minutes left. We got 20 minutes left, guys. 10 minutes, sorry. He's got a nice looking wall going. We'll just get over here and follow a little bit of his action. You can see Caesar here with Skinner Masonry. He's doing a nice job representing Skinner well. We're glad to see you here. Glad to see Skinner here. Thanks for allowing this young man to be here and show off his talent. Sit here and watch him for a minute. And again, guys, these aren't here doing, they're not here to doing this for free. It, first off, it's recognition. Second off, first place gets 300 bucks and some goodies on top of that. Second place, 200 bucks. And of course, third gets 100 bucks for being here and placing third. We know that we'll see these guys again. Most of the guys I spoke with earlier, they're here for recognition from the boss man, school teacher. They want to stay in this industry. And I would say 99% of them talked about that they want to make a career out of this, be on the wall, and uh, be a part of what's going up in our communities and our states. Thank you, Caesar. Nice looking, brother. Nice looking. Check in on Bryson over here. Again, our second place winner in previous contest for the state. That is no small feat. Take a peek here at his techniques. Bryson, you got anybody at home watching this thing? What's that? You got your dad here. We got got the family. Dad, what's happening? Thanks for coming out here and supporting that boy. He's got a nice looking wall. He's gonna make more money than all of us one day. See, he's taking a little time to come in and fix some of his imperfections so he can keep his walls nice, straight, and keep his brick from being tipped out. Don't let anybody say our teachers don't work for us. Not only Bud teaching these guys how to lay brick and block, he's out here being a tender, breaking a sweat. It's all of our Vegas shows. We appreciate his support. We're going to move over here to some of our two-year apprentice guys take a look and see the differences in some of their walls versus what we've been looking at here it looks sweet got Omar here getting after it nice job Omar Again, same, same rules apply with these guys, just not big as wall, and they're not given quite as much time to do what they have to do, but uh, they are given the same guidelines as our guys that go to Vegas and try to win that pickup truck. Got Romero here, nice looking wall Romero. He's the man, keep it going, don't let me slow you down.
get here on the action a little bit. As you can folks see, these are our junior bricklayers, apprentice, one year apprentice, two year apprentice, and of course, our high schoolers. Got Luis Martinez here. Been watching him for a little while. It's ROC construction. Got a clean wall, nice looking wall, friend. Sun is out, it's a beautiful day. Folks are showing up here, supporting the junior bricklayers. We got Marvin over here with D Brown. We'll check in on old Marvin here and see how he's doing. Clean wall there, Marvin. Good over five, little less than five Looking minutes. Good. Five minutes, guys. We'll let you know every minute. Make sure on these last. Wow, places, we're uh, wrapping it up quick. Make sure you're not trying to lay too many brick or, and, uh, and lay a, a tip fit or a lift brick. Uh, actually, not this time. Marvin getting set to lay another course of brick. Keeping it clean, keeping it nice. Four minutes. No stranger Four minutes to doing left. this. The trial's up. Four minutes left. Four minutes there, Marvin. But don't let me pressure you. The wall is looking good. Hey, while we're all watching this, I just want to be, remind you all, we've got all, a lot of these kids, we've got instructors, we've got schools. We're going to take we've a quick walk Johnson around here. We've got about four here. minutes left in this event. Here. I want to try and do the best uh, I can to display some of the talents that we have here. Lupe Marquez right here in the middle. Quick man up. Thank you, Lupe. He's also, he's working with the UMCA. We've got Wayne Smith also with the, the UMCA. And we've got Larry Jones here with the North Texas Job Corps. We got Ricardo here with D Brown. Got a nice looking wall. Ricardo tells me he wants to win this contest. He not only wants to win, he wants a promotion. And I know D Brown will do it too. Take, take, take a quick peek at Francisco here with Skinner Masonry. Yes, sir. Making it happen. Got Edwin here with Artistry. Knocking it out. Clean wall there, Edwin. Looks really good. We'll sit here and watch you for a sec if you don't mind. Doing whatever it takes to make this right. Got his coaches instructing him. Doing exactly what a coach would do for his apprentice. Two minutes, two minutes, the trial's up. Two minutes, the trial's up, folks. Yes, that's, that's right. If you guys are just joining us, we've been doing this for approximately 18 minutes. Our junior bricklayers get 20 minutes to come in here. Sidewalls are built for them. First course is laid. They come in here. And they do their very best. Let's take another look at the clean wall here. One of our apprentices here doing the best that he can, looking nice. We'll stand back here and take a peek at his wall. Again, this is Marvin with Skinner Masonry. Knows he's got about two or three minutes left. And if he don't, he does now, right? Two minutes. See in the background, got his coach helping him out, moves his lines up. Ready to throw his next course in. One he minute. knows. One minute till trial's up. One minute. Take a walk around here at others. So we have one minute to show off the talent of our apprentices. Make sure they're plumb. Last few bricks.
Knocking it out. Knocking it out. Looks good, guys. Thirty seconds, guys. Thirty seconds. Locking happening. Thirty seconds. Come on, Henry. Got Henry checking his walls, making sure he's nice and level. Speaking of clean walls, we got another one here by Mandarin with Ford. Mandarin Ford with DMG, rather. Making his family proud. Getting ready to wrap this thing up. Everybody trowels up, trowels up. Okay, so we're 20 minutes into this, folks. 20 minutes into this. Big shout out and a hand to these guys. They're gonna take a 10 minute break. They're gonna come back in here. They're gonna do their tooling, brush the wall, which we do judge on that. And uh, we'll start our judging at that and then we're gonna announce our winners. Get rid of your b-holes. You can go both, both sides of the wall in that particular case. Um, Again, we'll take a walk through these walls, take a peek. Touch the wall, but they can help you. So you can see these guys are working with an eight-foot perimeter. After a little rest, you want to get some guys get some Four-foot sidewall, eight-foot perimeter, and they're laying the brick. 20-minute 20, 20 walls, guys. This, this is something else. 20-minute walls. And these kids and young men done an outstanding job. Take a walk over here and take a look, peek at our little high schools. See how these guys have done. We'll call you back. We'll give you a heads up when you need to get back in your in your stall for tooling. So go get yourself something to drink. You guys deserve it. Guys, getting ready to take a little break. Take a 10-minute 10-minute water break. Going to get in here and take a peek at some of these walls from our high schools. We got Juan Perez here with Artisan, one year Mason, apprentice. What do you think, my friend? All right. Again, one of our one year apprentice walls here. Not a bad looking wall. Jason looks really good. Let's go over here and take it. It's Julia. Now, keep in mind, this is a junior in high school, folks. A junior in high school. Laying a beautiful, clean wall. We'll take a walk through and take a peek at it before she does her cleaning. And gosh, not much cleaning there. Not much cleaning going to be needed there. Here's a look at our wall of the gentleman who took second place in Fort Worth. Nice looking wall there. Something nice to look at. Hands off to these I mean, just unbelievable. This is here. He's a winner, first place winner. And this gives you one great reason as to why he is what he is. And that is a first place winner amongst our junior bricklayers. It's done in 20 minutes, folks. Not two hours, not two days, 20 minutes. Got Trey Harris there doing his counting of the brick. Make sure these kids are represented well. Take a walk around as you see these folks here taking a little break. Nice crowd here today. I do want to take a quick moment to thank you folks for showing up on Facebook, specmix.com and our Instagram. You can follow us there. You can come back and watch these things. I know all these apprentices and students want to come home and take a peek at what they got. Shout out to DMG. There you go. Number one. There you go. That's what we want to see, folks. That's what we want to see. Got Omar here with a nice, clean wall. Can't wait to see what these walls look like from these kids when they come in here and tool them, brush it up, clean them up. Just one wall after another that represents the masonry industry very well. Romero's got a nice looking wall. We'll come back and we'll focus a whole lot more on the cleaning and tooling of these. Beautiful day here, Dallas, Texas at Best Block. Want to give a big shout out to those folks. Got Marvin over here with D Brown. Just give you folks a quick look at what a wall looks like. Unbrushed, untooled. Hasn't gone in and fixed any of his 
minor repairs that he needs to do looks really good and again guys keep in mind this is 20 minutes 20 minutes i mean i can't write a poem in 20 minutes most of us can't get dressed in 20 minutes christian here with dmg clean wall Same rules apply guys. Just keep in mind. We have the same rules apply to these guys. We have judges counting the brick They'll be taking a look at plum brick count voids in the walls Got our spectators over here and a gift Ford one of our Folks that uh, sponsor our brick lair one of our major contributors the judging crew here. Yeah, yeah. Ten minutes. Nice crowd for a junior bricklayer here in Dallas, Texas. Again, my name's James Boozing. I do want to personally thank you for coming out here. Thank you for all the nice comments online. Thanks for clicking in on us. Thanks for watching us. And more than that, thanks for using our products. We really appreciate you Masons out there promoting our products. And going the way that it should. All right, and competitors. That to be pre -blended. We're gonna be starting this back up in one minute. So grab your water bottle, grab a drink. In one minute, we're gonna have you back at your stalls, back at your number, like we started. You guys ready to get back at it? Ready. Right, ready to do it. And we'll start you off. Put that Put lipstick on it now. Make it look good. We we're getting people back in their stalls, getting ready to come in, brush, tool, clean up their voids. All right, everybody, towels up. Towels up, so you see it. They're all start their walls at the same time. We'll walk around here and we'll take a peek at what they got going on as far as they're cleaning. And they are back at it. You can see he's using his joiner. He's cleaning up his joints, not making them nice and smooth. Filling in any voids, he'll come back and brush this and be one proud apprentice. Nice looking wall. This young man knows that this is a race. And he also knows that quality counts not missing one joint, doing a nice job. He'll come back, do his horizontal joints. Take a look at Mandarian here, cleaning up the wall. Grandma says he wishes she'd uh, clean his room up like this, but you know what? We'll give him all the credit in the world for cleaning a wall like this. Looks good. Looks good, Mr. Ford. Thank you. He's doing DMG proud, that's for sure. Sure. You don't get a raise out of this. You just have him call me. <laughs> all right. Again, we're going to take a peek at Francisco here with Skinner Masonry. This is one fantastic looking wall. I just want to give you guys a nice little close up of this wall as he's cleaning it. Francisco, this looks good, friend. Looks yeah, good. You can see he's cleaning it up. Presentation's everything. And again, folks, let's just take a quick little look at this wall here as we go down the wall. I think... Uh, I think there's uh, many people in America out here would love to have these young men working for them. Again, these are our one and two year apprentices showing off the skills they've learned over the past couple years. He's going from carrying mud up to the wall to laying brick, am I right? There you go.
These guys are rapidly doing what they can do, not giving a lot of time. Martinez here doing his very best to fill in voids and get that wall looking smooth. Take a peek at old Marvin over here with D Brown. Again, nice clean walls, clean joint. I know he's proud, I don't even have to ask him. He's glad to be here and not at work, am I right? Yes, sir. He's not making you go back to work after this, is he? Oh, no. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Got Christian here with DMG. Oh, yeah. Doing his thing. That's right. Let's scoot in between these walls here and see what we can see. You can see he's cleaning both vertical and horizontal joints as he's going along because time is of essence. He's doing what he can do to make it look right. We'll come back, brush it, clean it. Again, Thank you folks for joining our junior bricklayer. This is a special event for us as we uh, recognize our junior apprentice and our high school folks. They are here because this is the future of our industry. We know that. We hope you recognize that. And we know these guys will be a part of that. Picking some more of our competitors here in the Junior Olympics. Proud parents here watching their kids. Again, we got Bryson here, second place winner last year in Fort Worth. Doing his best to see what he can do to Take it even higher than that. Five minutes, five minutes, halfway there, halfway there. They're halfway there to cleaning their walls up. Take a quick moment here to recognize this young man. Doing a fantastic job. No stranger to the world here, that's for sure. Again, let me remind you, this is Ulysses. He's a senior, a senior in high school. He's already taken first place in the Fort Worth Junior Brick Lair. In 2019, of course. Nice clean wall there, you listen. Very nice looking wall. Again, senior in high school, guys. Senior in high school. I don't even I don't know that I could put it on the Four internet minutes. what I was Four doing in left. high school count, as a guys. senior. Four minutes to the end of the 2020 junior spec mix bricklayer 500 here in Dallas. These walls are looking good, make them count. Let's get over here and take a peek at his cleaning techniques. Again, this is a senior in high school, folks. Ulysses is a senior in high school, and he's here for our competition, doing the very best he can do to get out of school, make this part of his career, earn that big cheddar. As you can see, a lot of stability levels here. Some of our major sponsors. Folks are cleaning their walls. Three minutes, three minutes. Jason there. Let's take a peek at Jason's clean side wall here, as you can see. Fantastic job, Jason. Looks nice. I know the boss man would be proud.
again we got Juan here with Artisan He's cleaning his wall up we'll show you what a nice clean wall looks like as they come through and do their very best to make her look sharp looking good Juan looking good this is gonna be a tough tough competition I can tell you that right now just from walking around looking at Two these minutes. walls these folks are man these folks are knocking it out Got about two minutes left before these guys are finishing up their walls. Got some proud parents here. Got a fan club, nothing better. Crowd's seriously anticipating who the winners are gonna be. And again, folks, we have a first place, second place, and third place in each of our categories, meaning we have a category for our one-year apprentice, our two-year apprentice, as well as our high school students. You can see he's getting after it, cleaning his wall, getting it looking nice and smooth. This is what it's all about right here. This is where the rubber meets the road. Well, one maybe minute, the mortar meets the, the wall. Not to make a pun out of this, but this is the foundation of who is gonna be doing our future buildings, homes, projects in America. And we are super thankful for these Masons for being here. These students, these teachers, Spec Mix, Quick Creek. We'd like to thank everybody. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. This is seconds. a big deal. When the competition's over, if you scrape off your mud tubs in here. And this guy knows tubs, we got 30 seconds, obviously. Tubs, I am not going in uh, fast forward, water, folks. This is this man getting after it. We got 30 we'll seconds. Out if you bring your bricks out. We are a short time Ten from seconds. being done. 10 seconds. The judges are coming here. They'll do their final judging. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Trials up. Trials, Trials up, up, everybody. Next Trials break. up, everybody. Great nice. Great job for our 2020 junior spec mix bricklayer 500 here in Dallas. Great job, everybody. Nice job, Great job. Yeah. Nice job. We'll let these folks clear out of here. The judges will come in. They'll do their judging. And it won't be long before we have some announcements to make that are going to make a lot of folks proud, a lot of folks happy. A lot of students uh, are here watching their fellow students and that's just uh that's what it's all about big peak of marvin's wall here marvin skinner masonry nice looking walls we'll just take a quiet moment here and just walk you through it take a look at, take a look at some of what of our masons are doing for us our judge is hard at work. We're going to be donating to, to uh, UMCA for their training. So, uh, you click out here. We really appreciate that. And your mud boards. Thank you. Third quarter. Third quarter. Third Our judge is here measuring the height, ensuring that the height is correct from the middle measurement. And each end. Again, these masons out here are not just putting brick up because that's what they do. They have to go by the guidelines, meaning measurements are important. Plum is important. Joints are important. And of course, as in this wall here by Mr. Ford, it's a super clean wall. We're glad you're here with us. Again, this is our junior bricklayer. These kids are glad to be here and we're glad that you're here watching it, and checking it out and visiting us and staying with us. It's been a fantabulous event. The weather's been perfect. Mud has been slinging. Students are happy. Teachers are happy. And of course, we at Specmix are happy to have them. This is 
take a quick walk down some of our walls here and you'll just get a piece of this. And again, guys, this is high school. This is high school walls that we're taking a peek at. Of course, this is an exception. This is one with artisan masonry, a one year apprentice. Again, one year apprentice doing this. When we say apprentice, folks, we're talking, these guys go from, they get hired on the job, they're carrying mortar up to the guys on the wall that are actually laying brick or block. They're driving the forklifts around. They're the guys staying late, cleaning the job up. And if they're good enough, and they last it, and they continue and want to do it, they become apprenticed, which means they're pretty much uh, the partner of a, another bricklayer, and then they become an apprentice, and then they're on the wall, which is the goal of the majority of these folks here. Stall six, stall five, stall four, where's your level? Again, you can hear some of our judges ensuring that everybody has proper tools and using the right levels and it's Kiko with D Brown another clean wall here hey guys we have a stall spot one of our princes stand back here and give you a little shot of the Carlos big picture Caesar, you got your levels we can put it on five and six. We can judge one for you. Give a quick shout out to some of our sponsors here while they're doing our judging. The UMCA, the TMC, of course, Texas Masonry Council, Adam Supply of Dallas. We appreciate everything you guys are doing. Prism, Iron Age. Man, we really appreciate the Iron Age and the serious footwear. Acme Brick, that's Block, Sunbelt. We appreciate all you guys. Again, we got our competitors checking out their wall. Fingers crossed that they did what they needed to do. Talking about what they could have done. Happy to have been here. Come over here and talk to Mandarin because I know he's a ham for the camera. What do you think about this, Mandarin? Yeah, I think I did an awesome, awesome job. You think you did good? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna second that and I don't think you did good. I know you did good. Uh, really? It's a good looking wall. Thank you. DMG isn't proud of that. You tell him I know a lot of masons in this state that is. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That's a good looking wall. Your family would seriously be proud. Again, it's Henry Amaya, Skinner Masonry. Another nice looking wall. And again, we got everybody walking around. We're doing the final judging processes of these kids and apprentices. Looking forward to seeing what's happening. I can now get in here with these, with these walls without uh, messing up here. And of course, we got Edwin here with Artisan Masonry. One of our strong local supporters here in the Dallas-Fort Worth market. Nice clean wall as I walk down and give you guys a little peek at the beautiful wall that he's created. And again, guys, I say beautiful wall that he created because these weren't here 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago, this wasn't here. I could think of a lot of things to do in 20 minutes, and this is not one that I could do. That is for sure. I don't even know how I can eat my lunch in 20 minutes and do a wall that Marvin here has done. With Skinner Mason. Look forward to seeing the results on this. You can see our red shirt judges. These guys take this serious. This is no different than uh, what I would say a track meet would be in high school in some cases. These guys are running and they want a ribbon. In this case, we're talking cash, we're talking Marshall towel bags, trowel, stability levels. These guys that win are gonna walk away with something sweet. 
Again, we'll take a peek at Bryson's wall. He's second place in Fort Worth last year at our Junior Bricklayers events held by TMC, I believe. And again, another wall that anybody would be proud of. This is Ulysses, he's a senior. Serious competitor and winner in the Fort Worth Junior Bricklayer events last year. You see the crowds gathering in anticipation. Won't be long, our judges will tally their final counts. We'll announce the winners. And we look forward to doing this again next year. Again, folks, a lot of these guys, meaning the apprentices, they are, they're, they're eager to be in our main event. They want to go home in that Ford F-250 and take a trip to Vegas. So they don't take this lightly. Fine example of our judging here, Carson, checking for Plum, Wren, making sure that he's doing what he needs to be doing. Got Bud Johnson over here, one of our Grand Prairie Mason instructors. Super proud of his teams, I know. What do you think about it, Henry? Huh? Bueno? Looks good. Looks good, my friend. Take a peek at Henry's wall here. Nice looking wall there. And we got our mud slingers here. We're glad to have these folks here. We appreciate you guys being here. Got our TMC instructor here, new in position this year. You got a few words you want to talk about real quick? I'll put you on the spot for a few minutes. Uh, well, I mean, the whole day today was very, it was a big outcome. I was not expecting so many people to come out today, and they did. Uh, just thought it was amazing. Overall, I mean, everyone here did a great job today. So I'm very proud of, like, some of the walls here actually shocked me 100%. I was not expecting so many bricks from, you know, from, you know, uh, I forgot the name. <clears throat> From apprentices and high school kids, they, they, you know, they absolutely shocked me as well. Uh, they laid a good amount of bricks today, which is crazy. Um, man, man. Well, we're glad you're here. And again, this young man right here will be uh, going around to all the schools in the state of Texas, talking to various uh, educators about how the uh, masonry programs can work. And we're looking forward to seeing big things out of you. Employed by TMC, am I correct? Yes, sir. There you go. We're looking forward to it. Nothing better than seeing folks want to pose in front of our major sponsors. I'll say one, two, three, so y'all can all be ready. <laughs> one, two, three. And I would like to add, this is this is more than just a competition, folks. This is something that we as employees of Spec Mix Quick Create enjoy. I mean, just thoroughly enjoy this. Is it work? Heck yeah, it's work. But is it fun? It's probably the carnival that we look forward to every year. All of us working together. Everybody has a good time. We uh, we learn as we go on. And again, this year being our first year to live stream, I can assure you that we will be back doing this. This has been an excellent way to get the word out. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you clicking on and following us. And we appreciate you following us on Instagram and Facebook at SpecMix. And Jason there taking care of his tools of the trade. As you can tell, it's getting a little quieter around here, which means we're getting a little closer to making this go down. Walk around here, just take a peek at our crowd. It will be minutes, minutes before we have uh, announcements of our winners. 
Again, a little peek at Felipe's wall with artisan masonry. Nice looking wall. We'll keep walking through here so that you guys get a good idea for those that may have just joined in what's going on here. This is our junior bricklayer, guys. Our junior bricklayer event, which means this is our first year, second year apprentices, and all broken down into each category so it keeps it nice, fair. Everybody will be winning the same prize categories meaning we'll have a first, second, and third place. Give you guys a little sampling of what these folks will be hoping to go home with. Bags, plaques, levels, trophies. Get away from that music because I know it's a little loud for you folks at home. We're happy that you spent your lunch hour with us across America. We're happy that you're still here with us. And we look forward to announcing our winners. The judges over here are hard at it, doing what they do. Not taking this lightly at all. Again, some of the ways that we judge our walls, as you can see, Carson's checking for plum. Folks eagerly are waiting the results of their family members, their teammates, and friends. I'd like to throw out a big shout to our mudslingers. Couldn't do it without them. When I say mudslingers, these are the guys that do a lot of the uh, making sure that the mud is on the board for our guys, the mixing of the mud, and of course the overall cleanness of the area so nobody gets hurt, and of course the cleanup afterwards. No way we could do it without them. So from our mudslingers to our junior mudslingers, we appreciate it. Beautiful day here. Sling a little mud, lay a little brick, and have a little fun. We'll move along over here towards our judges' tent, see how we're coming along. Give you guys a bird's eye view of what we have going on here. Okay. Folks in the industry talking it up, visiting. This is what we're here about. I worked out of Pittsburgh. We got folks, we got a few hams over here smiling at us. No. That's all right, we appreciate you guys being here. I know you folks have talk, heard me talk about uh, some of our apprentices out here in the program today and uh, Artisan being one of our local masons that does a really good job. I'm gonna back around here, I kind of see Kind of a, well, I don't, I don't want to surprise him too much, but uh, old Bobby here with Artisan. Got a good looking crew out here with good looking folks. You got anybody out here, do you? We got, they got, y'all got three out here. Yeah. Who are you with? Uh, I'm uh, with Adam Supply, but I also, also with the uh, uh, Grand Prairie Independent School District, and we've got uh, some of our young, young folks here competing. Man, and I appreciate everything you guys do, especially Bobby. I know you've been here we, both we in got, our we senior got and juniors. Three guys uh, from the school here today, so. Hopefully we'll make it a clean sweep. Oh, well, if, <laughs> if their walls are as clean and pretty as you boys are, they'd love to win. <laughs> Appreciate y'all coming out. Again, big shout out to Grand Prairie, showing up here with their students, 
I really foresee this next year and the years to come to be even more schools involved as we have Lewis with TMC going around to our uh, school administrators promoting and pushing the uh, masonry program. He is there to install the, uh, the system per se so that the educators there know exactly what they need to do to promote, build, and push the masonry industry. It's nice to have him here because we do know that he'll be using our product, Spec Mix, of course, so we do appreciate that. And that just uh, that's just an investment that uh, you just can't put a price on, guys. We are getting closer and closer to the announcement of our winners here at our junior bricklayer in Dallas, Texas. Big shout out to Trey Harris for putting this event on. We've done several bricklayer events in this area, in this region. And uh, this is our junior bricklayer and uh, same amount of work, effort goes into it. Not as many brick hung on the wall, but same effort. Same recognition, same enthusiasm, and again, these guys are our future. If you guys like what you see, please go to specmix.com, Facebook, and type it in. Specmix.com, you'll see previous bricklayer events from our junior bricklayer events to the actual Brick Larry event where our folks go to Vegas and compete for thousands of dollars in prizes to be the world champion of the entire United States and Canada, of course. Give us a little 360 action here. This will be tour of the facility here at Best Block. Hats off to Best Block. We appreciate you folks letting us be here and conduct this in your parking lot. Had it not be for a lot of you major sponsors, we could not do this. So thank you very much, Best Block. Thank you, Quick Creek. Thank you, MCAA, Hydra Mobile, Marshalltown, Multiquip, Ford, Stabila, Steel, Spec Mix. We are, we are so happy that each of you guys are part of our organization in a sense of sponsorships and being there for us. Couldn't ask for a better day, better weather. We're getting closer and closer to announcing the winner. And if you folks have just clicked in on us, man, man, have you missed an event, but don't worry, you can go back and watch this again, again, and again, make it a family event. If you've got a high schooler in, in school and he's a little undecided or she's un, undecided on what's going on in the world or what they want to do for a living, man, oh man, what an art. This is an art, folks. Many of our high schools across the nation are promoting the masonry industry as we do. For those of you that have just joined in, we have just wrapped up our junior bricklayer. No winners have been announced yet. Our judges are in the final prepping stages of doing that. You can kind of get a bird's eye view of what's taking place here. These walls again, side walls were erected for the guys prior to the event. They get in here, they start their starter course. They get 20 minutes to do this wall. That's right. 20 minutes to do this wall no you won't see what you see in our regular brick layer in a sense of five six hundred brick even more than that but uh what you see is you see our future this is our future from the apprentices to the high school kids so 20 minutes these walls were put up cleaned in, in 10 minutes i should say and cleaned but in 20 minutes this wall went from nothing to what you see today 20 minutes good looking wall looking forward to seeing who takes away the first second third in these brick layer event we got parents here walking around checking out their students work 
incredible to see. Thank you parents for supporting this. We're glad you have your, 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 your kids here. We're glad to have your relatives here. And again, we're glad you're here. Some of our local sponsors again there. Don't want to forget about those folks. Again, got our students here waiting. Everybody's kind of just kicking back. No one's left. The announcements are coming. Prizes and awards are about to be announced. Again, this is an event where we encourage all the folks to come out here, of course, with social distancing. All of these walls, 30 minutes ago, were not here. 20 minute walls, 10 Can we minute get all cleaning. The judges over here to the spec mix tent? Can we get all the judges over here to the spec mix tent, please? Sounds like we're getting closer and closer to the announcements. Yeah, and I'll come over here. And we need all the judges over at the spec mix tent, please. Let's take a peek at. Uh, some of the awards handed out to these folks. They don't just show up for anything. They show up for prizes, cash, and more than that, recognition. You can see for you sports fans, our referees, in this case our judges, collaborating, deciding on who needs to be our winners, making sure they're all on the same page. It's an exciting moment because it's you can feel the tension. It's gonna be a close close competition. Looking at these walls, I've been to many, many bricklayer events, and uh, of course the walls are 600 brick, 500 brick, but uh, I don't believe I've seen anything as close as what we're seeing here with our apprentices and our high school students. Very close in terms of height, cleanliness, plumb, just a fantastic, fantastic turnout and their skills. Just, just glad to see them here. No stranger to laying brick, that's for sure. Brick, our brick judges taking one last final look to make sure everyone is on the same page. Again, these walls were put up in 20 minutes folks 20 minutes we give our students 20 minutes to put these walls up give them a little bit of a break then we give them a few minutes to come back in here and clean up their joints fill in their voids i can tell from the way our judges are taking a walk around and looking at the final walls that it's a super super close event How you feel you did? Good, good, man. Good. We're glad you're here. Yeah, thank you. Again, I could go around to each one of these guys, and I know what the uh, outcome would be. A, they're happy to be here. B, they look forward to coming back. And, of course, C, they're hoping to be a winner. No football talk here. We're talking about what they just did. Walls, checking out the cleanliness of it. Not only do they make their family proud, but their employers are watching this, I know. And these folks are talking about what they just did. And if you're just joining us, this is pretty much getting close to the announcement of our winners for our junior bricklayer here in Dallas, Texas at Best Block. This consists of high schoolers, first year apprentice, and second year apprentice. 
our first and second year apprentice. Keep in mind, these are guys that uh, usually start on the job site as laborers. When I say laborers, meaning they are at the bottom of the pole. They are picking that mud up. They are the guys cleaning. They are the guys on the forklift. They're the guys mixing the mud and just waiting for that opportunity to get on the wall. And uh, there's no doubt that the folks that are here will be on the wall soon if they're not already. Big shout out to our high school students. There's so many things today that our high schoolers could be doing in this world. And uh, for the Hi, teams everybody. here from Grand Prairie, the they, are, uh, they are here to rec be recognized. Next Bricklayer 500 in Dallas is over. If everybody get in your stall. Looks like we're getting like really, we really start. close to announcing our winners. Get by your number so we know who you are. So I'm going to kind of uh, pipe really down a little bit. Coming out. We had 21 listen to our announcements from Robert. 21. We had three in high school. We had six in first year apprenticeship, six in first year apprenticeship, and 12 in two year apprenticeship. That's 21 competitors. So Trey's going to make some announcements here. Trey's our regional manager. And uh, then we're going to get to uh, the important stuff. So uh, if you guys want to get your stalls here, and we'll have uh, Trey say a few words about something's going on. Like Robert said, my name's Trey Harris. I'm the regional manager for Spec Mix. Uh, No, my, every year we have a uh, pacer. Right. When the wind turns cold, it's an empty we turn it down? And a love gone wrong. All right, we're going to let our music get turned down here for just a minute as we get ready to announce our winners. Really close to making the announcements for our winners. Anticipation is high. Our competitors are in their stalls, awaiting the uh, Hello, one, final two, recognition. Right, finally, we're having some technical difficulties. Here we go. As I said, my name is Trey Harris. I'm the SpecMix Regional Manager. I cover all the mainly a lot of the southern half of the United States for SpecMix. Every year, we have a live masonry auction. At this auction, uh, we help raise money to donate to Santa's helpers to help raise uh, money to be able to buy bicycles. Uh, in December, we take that down there to WFAA and we make the presentation to them. Last year, we raised $50,000 and we were able to buy uh, 1,000 bicycles, which is great. This year, because of all the COVID and every, uh, regulations and everything, we weren't able to have the live masonry auction like we normally do. So what we ended up doing, we ended up putting it on specmix.com and we had a kind of a virtual auction where the contractors would call and email with their bids and try to raise some money. So I wanted to take just a second to be able to thank some of these sponsors that donated materials and services. We have Acme Brick, Southwest Scaffolding, Specmix, Texas Building Products, Adam Supply, Advanced Architectural Stone, IQ Power Tools, Best Block, Sunbelt Rentals, Spec Rents, Austin Block and Quarry, Holman and Bernard, Wholesome Cement, United Rentals, Multiquip, Grand Prairie ISD, Persoco, and Cisco Supply. Now, those are the main people that uh, donated the materials that we were going to be auctioned off. Then the Mason contractors from all over the state of Texas popped in and said, I want those products because I want to help those kids. So we had Ranch Masonry out of Houston, A Star Masonry out of Seagoville, Skinner Masonry in Mesquite, DMG Masonry out of Arlington, Artisan Masonry out of Roy City, Galindo and Boyd, also in Mesquite, D. Brown in Richardson, Brazos Masonry out of Waco, Peterson Drilling out of Amarillo, and Metro Masonry out of Plano. So without the help of these guys, we just would not be able to go out there and purchase all these bikes and everything that we did. And a long time ago, this started out with a kind of a dream. Um, friend of mine, Mike Blackburn, passed away a few years back, and we did a masonry auction to help raise a lot of money to send kids to a boys camp, and you know, for, ki for kids that couldn't do it. And I forgot to total one thing. So we were able to be able to raise a bunch of money to send a bunch of kids and everything to camp, and 
without those funds, without those funds, we wouldn't be able to do some of the things that we do. Um, this year, our goal was fifty thousand dollars. We exceeded that goal. This year, we're going to be able to purchase twelve hundred and six bicycles because we were able to raise sixty thousand three hundred thirty seven dollars and fifty cents nice nice i can't tell you the people who donated materials the people who bought these materials it was a lot of work but i enjoy it <clears throat> and i'm glad that i do it every year because i wouldn't want to be one of those kids that doesn't have anything underneath the tree at christmas thank y'all for y'all support Thank you, Trey. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Robert Gleason. He is our official announcer for the Specmix Junior Bricklayer 500 and also for the, the Bricklayer 500 that we do usually in October. And uh, Robert, are we ready for all the awards? We are. Let's go. We've got all the judging. And again, we appreciate it. We had 21 teams. We had three in high school. We had six in first year, and we had two in second year apprentice. 21 teams. That's fantastic. And thank you guys for coming out here to help us promote this big, industry right? and promote the youth in this industry. So we really appreciate it. So we're going to start off with the high school. We've got the prizes. we got uh, we got the gift giver here, prize giver. All right, so in third place for the high school, we've got stall number one, with 51 brick count, Julia Lopez from Grand Prairie ISD. Third place. Congratulations. All right, all right. Come on up and get your, your gift here. We're going to get your picture and taken I add, This it. is and our uh, only female competitor here, and this, this speaks volumes. Good job. I don't even have words for it. This is incredible. It was our only female competitor. She gets $100, $100 cash. Marshalltown trowel, Marshalltown uh, gift bag, or, or trowel uh, work bag, and, uh, and some goodies in the bag. Congratulations. You, want, you, can, you can take your mask off for the picture if you want to. Okay. You okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. Good Congratulations. Job. Good job, girl. Good job. Nice looking wall she did. All right, guys. Second place with a brick count of 115 brick after deductions is Ulysses. Cassiano, also Ulysses. from Grand Prairie ISD. There you go. Congratulations, second place. <laughs> now he gets a, a Marshalltown tool bag, Marshalltown trowel. He gets a plaque, and he also gets a 24-inch Stabila level provided by Stabila, which is always a great sponsor for us. And he gets a $200 check for second place. 200 bucks. Congratulations, man. Congratulations, you. These high school guys and girls, they had a, they all had great looking balls. Nice. So there were three high school Good competitors. Job. So I guess there's no real surprise on who won first place. Bryson McLaren Bryson. with 123 brick Bryson. count after deductions. Congratulations, you get a 48 inch Stabila trial. You get a Marshall towel That's tool bag, nice. a plaque, and you get $300 cash. Great looking wall. The guy knew what he was doing. We could see from this first course he knew what he was doing. So. Great job, Bryson. Spoke to Bryson's dad, and I know that he's super, super proud. A very emotional man when I spoke with him. Super proud of his son, as he should be. Bryson, you can take that mask off if you want to cheese and show everybody in the world what you look like. Good looking man with a good looking wall. Proud. It, it, this isn't a proud papa, I know. <laughs> All right, that's it for the high school, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the instructors that came out here, got bud, mom and everybody. And dad here is awesome. Um, for that. Awesome. And now we've got the uh, we got the first year. So in third place. This is what it's about right here, with 109 folks. Breakout, this is our future. We got Omar Lamelli with ROC Construction. Congratulations. Sit back over here to our winners. He's also going to get the Marshalltown tool bag, Marshalltown trial, hundred dollars cash. Plaque and some bragging rights. Congratulations, man. Again, this is our first year apprentice. This is our future right here. First time. 
Good, Good job, guys. Good job, man. All right, second place in first year with 105 brick count after deductions. We got Christian Valdez, DMG Masonry. Come on up, Christian. Go, Christian. Good job, bub. One of our apprentices with our local Good job. Mason here, big supporter of our product. Of course, he gets Marshalltown tool bag and a trial. Stabella level, 24 inch, $200 cash. You can pull it. There you go. Show that pretty face. Hold that bag up. Perfect. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Don't let your work. All right, first place. Good job. Good job, man. For this is. I jacked it up again. <laughs> I jacked it up again. What? Yeah. Now everybody's looking at me. I put third place and first place. No, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Third, first place. No, I did it, bro. Okay. Well, again, we're consulting, make sure we got the right numbers. Sorry, Omar's number one. Sorry about that, Omar. And Jason Hughes is third, and Christian is second. So I completely jacked that up. Third place, come on up. Third, third place, place, come on up. Jason, have them all come up. Yeah, everybody come on up here. Third place, Jason Hughes, Wilkes Masonry. Come on. This is a little different. Second place, Christian Valdez. And we got first place for Omar Lamelli. So Jason Hughes got 103 brick count. He, of course, gets $100. He gets Marshall Tal. Uh, Marshalltown trial and a Marshalltown tool bag. Jason, you can take that mask off if you want a world to see we you. Got, there you go. We'll keep our distance. Right. Good job, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll retake the pictures. Uh, I don't even delete them all. all right. I, I, I'll keep this. He's fine. He got okay. second. All right. You're good, then. It wouldn't be a brick layer if I didn't screw right. something up. And again, this is live, folks, we so we kind of expect place, this kind of thing from time to time. With 109 brick count after Omar Lamar, ROC construction. He gets the 48 inch. Stabilo level. He's got some Marshall towel tool First place. Bag and nice job. And nice job. It's fun watching you. Oh yeah. Congratulations. All right. We'll see if we can get through second year without me screwing anything up. All right. So third place for second year with 132 bricks after after uh, deductions. We've got Marvin Oriana. With Skinner Masonry, third place. Congratulations! Again, if you focus. Now, both number. Now, third place in this particular competition. There was three, three different, uh, three different stalls that had the same brick count: 13, 16, and 17. So, what we did in this situation is we make a judgment call, like we do in the Craftsman and the regular. Sometimes is all the judges went over to all three walls. They didn't discuss anything between themselves, and they all came back with what they felt like was the most sellable wall. And that was wall number 16. So uh, 13 and 17, you were up there exactly the same with the brick house. It was just a judgment call by the uh, judges. So congratulations. All right. Second place. Stall number 15, Ricardo Ro Re Riojas with D. Brown with 148 bricks after. And he, of course, gets the Marshall Towel tool bag, Marshall Towel trial, 24 inch to fill a level. $200 cash. Again, if, if you folks are just joining us, this, this is our, our award reception for our first year and second year apprentices. We have just somewhat completed our bricklayer event and we're handing out our awards for these folks that have done an outstanding job of representing okay, the masonry industry. And the first place, of course. The guy that works for the company that donated all the cash for these prizes is Andrew Proctor with 155 brick after deductions. First place, G GNS Construction. Congratulations, man. Good job. Congratulations. Of course, you'll get everything that everybody else got to get a 48 inch level from Stabila. Plat, $300 cash. It's first place, second year apprentice. I'm sure the boss man will be stuffing his paycheck full of uh, all, all kinds of goodies. Stuff. That's what I did. Congratulations. 
Well done, Andrew. Nice, Andrew. My hands are full. Here, let me help you. I, 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 I just got tested, and I think, I, I think I'm okay. Nice job. Good job. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for our uh, 2020 Junior Spec Mix Bricklayer 500 up here in Dallas. Appreciate everybody coming out. Thanks again. Great, great event. Thanks for all our volunteers, all our sponsors, everybody. And uh, enjoy the rest of the week, guys. Thank you. Thank you, folks. If you're still with us, we do appreciate you coming here. Click on specmix.com. Click on the Facebook. Follow us on Facebook under Spec Mix, Instagram, and go back and take a look at this. And be proud of these young people. Be proud of these apprentices. And send them the comments. Send us the comments. We're glad that you came. We're glad that you came back. We're glad that you will come back. And we look forward to seeing you time next year. Take care.